morning. Hope you're doing well today. God has blessed us so again with such a wonderful day. You know, we as Christians, we walk in an evil world, but we don't have to walk around in a defeated thinking, in a defeated state. We are victors through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And I just want to share that with you this morning to encourage you to walk around today, not in confidence within ourselves, by no means. But if you're a child of God this morning, I want to just share some verses with you that are in the Bible that I hope will encourage you to realize that we are victors, not victims. Listen, Romans 8, verse 37 says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. You see that? He said we are more than conquerors. We are more than just a winner. But it's in only one state, and that is through Jesus Christ our Lord. Not within ourselves, but through Jesus Christ. He says we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. What an encouraging verse that is. And listen to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 57. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. He says here, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So you see, again, this verse states, it's not within our ability, but in the power of Jesus Christ, which liveth in us, we have the victory. 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he, Jesus Christ, greater is he that is, with, that is in you, than he that is in the world being Satan. That verse right there tells us in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we have victory over Satan. He can come against us with a lot of things in this world and he's gonna do that. But we have the possible victory, not possible. You hear that word I slid in there? Uh-uh, it ain't possible. It is there. It is victory over our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Cause he says there, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Again, that verse says we are victors over this world. We are not able to win the battle on our own, but through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, he has promised us the victory. Only in Jesus Christ is this victory of play. We don't have to walk around with our heads hung down, thinking, well, here comes another battle, here comes another trial, here comes another tribulation. I'm gonna get beaten, I'm gonna get whipped up on. Uh -uh. Only if you want it to happen. But if you trust in God and you live in God and you pray and you seek God and you read his word and you study his word and put that word inside of us, we are more than victors. We are in the victory, walking in victory every day of our life. The Lord didn't bring us through our last trial to let the next one defeat us. Victory is possible. Romans 8 and 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us who can be against us <laughs> they can try all they want we're children of god hey they may whip up on us a little bit but you know what the bible says we win i like that song the cathedrals used to do i've read the back of the book and we win and between now and whenever that time comes that we go home to be with the lord uh in in our death or we go home to be with the lord in the rapture we can walk in victory through the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed upon Calvary, praise his name. And Lord, I tell you what, he has promised us that if we will serve him. Lord, we thank you today for the victory that is possible in our lives in this world as we live here through you. God, we know today that we, the, the Bible says, are victors over sin. We're victors over this world. We don't have to become a victim unless we just want to or we let our guard down. But Lord, as long as we hold your truth and your word, God, and we love you and we serve you, this word has promised us we have victory over this world. Thank you for that today, God. We pray today, God, that we'll walk and claim this in your precious name. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. May God richly bless you today is my desire.